Hey, what's happening, Nation? It's Sun Joku. We currently have 14 defensive linemen on this team. Our 53-man roster is only going to have nine, so we're going to have a little bit of fun. We're going to make our first round of cuts tonight. we got to go from 14 down to nine, so let me know what you guys think. Give me your opinions on it. I'm going to tell you who I would personally get rid of and who I would keep. This was actually a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. If you're new to the channel, please do think about subscribing. Stick around and hang out for a minute. Let me know your thoughts on this. We're not going to waste too much time. We're going to go ahead and jump into it. Niall Scott and Matt Dickerson, I didn't even cut them out. Those guys, in my opinion, are not going to make our 53-man roster. They're not going to make the practice squad. So those are the obvious two that are just going to be gone right off the bat. So let me go ahead and get rid of them real quick. And then the top three going across the board, I mean, you got Yannick, Crosby, and Farrell. Those three are not going anywhere. Those are three staples of our defensive line. But we're still sitting at 12, so we got to knock three more dudes off of this list. It kind of got tough for me because a dude like Darius Stills, I really like this kid. I think he has a ton of talent. I could see him honestly probably go in practice squad, but we're going to go ahead and just drop him down because I don't think he's going to be part of that 53 unless you see some kind of injuries or unless that kid like truly shows up. My biggest fear with him is that we're going to stick him on our practice squad and then some other team's going to come in and swoop him off of it. And I'll kind of be pissed about that because I think that kid does have a ton of talent. I think there's an outside shot that he does make this 53. But when you start getting more into this and you're looking at the guys that we're dropping off, because there was a couple painful cuts that I had to make as far as practice squad or just not being on the 53. I'm just hoping he can show up and do it, but I just want the best player on the field at any given moment. So... Starting off, we're just going to go ahead and put him. We're going to say that he's going to end up going practice squad. And so now we're down to 11. So we got to make two more cuts. Green's a pretty obvious one. I'm not too sure if he's going to end up going to the practice squad. I think he came into the league in 2019. He ended up getting drafted in the sixth round by the Colts. So we picked him up. He's still on his rookie contract. So I believe he's still eligible to be a practice squad player. I know he was making some flashes through the first little mini camps and things like that. But they weren't wearing pads. I don't have too much to really hype this kid up. Unfortunately, I think he's gonna end up being a cut for us. We're gonna go ahead and shrink him down. That has us down to 10 now. So we really just gotta get rid of one more person. And this is honestly where it got tough for me. And I was like, damn dude, who do you get rid of? Cause you're looking across this line. I really like Vickers. Like I really like Vickers. I thought he played so good for us against the Chiefs last season. And the few games that he did play in, he looked damn, damn good. But every time they would step up, they'd bring him up off the practice squad because they had different rules last season. And he would end up playing in a game, end up doing awesome, looking fast as hell, getting tons of pressure, stopping the runs. And then the next week he'd be back on the practice squad and somebody else would be back in there. It would be massive back in the rotation after being a healthy scratch the week before. Really pissed me off. I'm really hoping that Vickers can stick around. And this goes back to what I was saying last night about our defensive line. As far as Phelan, or Phelan I did not think that he was going to end up making this team. Because honestly, I think he would be my next cut. Because you're not going to cut Coons. Everybody thinks that that kid's going to end up being something special. But a lot of you guys think that he has a serious shot at making this roster. So then you keep moving down the line. We're not going to get rid of Jefferson. We just brought him on. He has a decent contract. And the dude has... A ton of potential to get us that interior pressure that we've been dying for so much. Solomon Thomas is another huge addition to this team. I know a lot of you guys aren't too high on him, but I'm telling you right now, as far as this defensive line goes and the new people that we've brought onto it, Thomas is going to be just as productive and just as impactful as Yannick. So there, I don't think there's any chance that he ends up going. Nazib's still underneath a huge contract. And Hankins, we just re-signed because he is such so damn good against the run. So it really puts you on the back end of those three between Philon, Vickers, and Koontz is who you end up getting rid of, which is pretty tough because I'm really not sure who I'd want to keep and who I'd want to get rid of. But like I said, dude, I try to stick to my words. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna end up making this roster, dude. I still think he's gonna end up getting cut off. It's really gonna come down to him and Vickers. And if I had to choose, I've seen Vickers play. I understand what he brings to the table. I really enjoy what he brings to the table. And I don't know, the injury rows still kill me about him. But that would be my starting nine that I would end up keeping. You'd have still still on your practice squad, hopefully untouched. But I think that's a pretty solid nine, dude. I know a lot of you guys hit me up after that last video when I was hyping this defensive lineup. And you were like, this defensive line is not as good as you're making it out to be. Dude, it really is. The rotation of it is sick. These guys having fresh legs, I'm telling you right now. If a dude like Thomas can turn it around and be the player that he was a couple years ago, that is a huge addition for us. And there's no damn right... There's no damn reason why he cannot do that. Carl Nazib kind of had an offseason when I'm chalking that up to the same thing as Littleton to where him and Gunther just did not get along in that system that just, just did not work out for them. And then Hankins, like I said, dude, he's going to be a beast in any system because you're going to plop him right in the middle on any rundown. He's going to get in there and cause a bunch of havoc. 
And then Jefferson, I'm really hoping he can do what I'm expecting him to do. And then you got the top three, man. I'm really liking this defensive line. I really think we have something good as far as the rotation and just the depth of this defensive line. I know a few of you guys are going to argue with those cuts, but when you take a look at it and you see it on paper, there's only so many guys you can get rid of and there's only so many guys you can keep. And a few of these guys, like I said, dude, like Dickerson and Niall Scott, like those are obvious. But then when you start getting into like the meat of this thing, it's tough to make those last couple cuts. So let me know if you guys would change anything. Let me know who you would keep or get rid of. I'm going to go ahead and keep drawing some stuff up and working on stuff until we can start into training camp. So until next time, guys, I'm Sun Joku. If you haven't subscribed, please think about clicking that button. We will catch you guys on the next one.